In this tutorial, we're going to show you a gadget which helps us to achieve our perfectly sized rounded blank. Now we may want to use this if we don't have a perfectly round blank, or we are starting with a square blank. So let's go to File, Close. So let's go and create a new file. So here we're working with a rotary job type. Job size, I need to specify a length and diameter for my part. So here my length is 12 inches and the diameter that I'd like to use is 3 inches. Now we need to set our Z0 position. Now we want to set this to the cylinder axis. This is the most reliable choice uh, as it's much harder for you to set your Z0 to the cylinder surface uh, as this requires you to have a perfect circle. So we're going to go cylinder axis here. XY on my setup is in the lower left hand corner and then we need to set up our cylinder orientation and this will really depend on your own machine setup. If you have a linear X axis then you'd use along the X axis where we'd be wrapping the Y values. If you had a linear Y axis then you'd use this option and that's where you'd wrap the X values. In my example, I'm wrapping the Y values along the X axis, so I'm going to use this option here, and then we could go ahead and press OK. So you can see we've got a width here of 12 inches as we specified. The height has come up as 9.4248. So this is a value that's taken from the circumference of our 3 inch diameter circle. And then the depth is 1.5 inches, which is half of the diameter that we put in our job setup form. So we're going to look at how we can use a gadget that allows us to create a rounding toolpath. So this is appropriate if you have Pro or are using Aspire. So to access the gadgets, let's go to Gadgets, Wrapping, and then at the bottom there we've got Create Rounding Toolpath. So the first thing we need to do is specify blank size and shape. So we have the option of working with a square blank, okay? So that's if you've just got square material and here you'd have to specify the height of your square blank. Alternatively, if you had something that was almost round and it was a round blank, then you could look at using this option here where you'd specify the diameter of the round blank. I'm going to assume that I'm using a square blank and that my material is three and a quarter inches. Then we have an option to apply an allowance. So this is the amount of material that you want to leave on your cylinder if you wanted to. In this case, I'm not going to. I want to go to our original cylinder size. So I'm going to make sure zero is put in there. Then we specify our machining method. So here we have three options. We have radial, which will go around uh, the cylinder. We have raster, that will just go along the cylinder. And then we have the option here for optimized raster along the cylinder. Um, and this basically machines off the corners first. And this only really applies to square blanks. Uh, so I'm going to look at um, using this toolpath option here because this is basically going to put the toolpath in the corners where I need it to. Then we can specify a tool so we can use the select option that will open up our tool database, put in your um, select your tool, check over your settings. So here I'm using a quarter inch end mill at a pass depth of a quarter of an inch in there. Go ahead and press OK and then the uh, gadget will create a name so by default you'll see round and toolpath in here you can edit that if you want to uh, and then once you're happy with that you could go ahead and press OK. So with that we can switch over to the toolpaths tab and we can see the toolpath displayed in our toolpath list. Before we go and preview that toolpath, let's just check over our material setup, ensuring that everything in here is correct to how we're going to set it up on our machine. So I'm working with a 3 inch diameter cylinder, XY position in the lower left, Z0 was setting that at the centre of the cylinder. Then we want to check over the rapid Z gaps, clearance plunge and the Z gap above the material, ensuring that everything is safe to do so in there. 
Right then, so we can go straight to the preview toolpaths option and we're going to take a look at this down the X axis. So if I go to view, I'm just going to switch off color shaded view. And so here we can see where we're putting this roughing toolpath in all four corners of our stock. And this just means that we're eventually going to get the cylinder that is a three inches in diameter from the three and a quarter inch stock uh, that we've got in place there. So let's just go to view and we're just going to switch on the color shaded view. I'm also going to switch on the draw origin option. That's important to note here how the X0, Y0 positions relate to this as well. So the X, Y0 position is in the middle of where one of the flats is going to be. So we need to ensure uh, that we had that lined up in the same place when we come to machine that also. Right then, so at this stage we would then simply go ahead and save out our toolpaths. So to do that, simply come over to close and then use the save toolpath option and then you'd select the appropriate rotary post processor uh, and then take that file over to your machine to create your rounding toolpath with. So that pretty much completes this tutorial. So let's just go ahead and save the file. So I'll go to File, Save As, and then we'll give this a name. We'll call this one Creating a Rounded Toolpath, and you can access that from your project folder.